Welcome to Deep Links, the podcast where we dive deep into the stuff that actually matters. I'm your host, and today we're talking about something that most people think they have, but trust me, they really don't, emotional intelligence. Yeah, you've heard the term thrown around in the latest self-help books, or maybe your manager at work used it during some corporate brainwashing seminar, but let's be real for a second, most of us suck at it. And it's okay to admit it because admitting it is actually the first step to not being a total jackass in your daily life. So, what the hell is emotional intelligence, or EQ as the cool kids call it? It's basically your ability to not be an emotional toddler. That's right, it's about how well you understand your own emotions, how you handle them, and how you deal with other people's emotions without making a complete mess out of every interaction. It's about not freaking out when things don't go your way or lashing out at someone just because you had a crappy day. Think of it as the grown-up version of not throwing your toys out of the pram. But here's the kicker. Most people think they're already emotionally intelligent. They think just because they've read a couple of articles online or watched some motivational YouTube videos, they've got it all figured out. Let me tell you something, if you think you're a master of emotional intelligence just because you can hold back tears during a sappy movie, you're sorely mistaken. This is deeper than that, folks. This is about having a real grip on yourself, not just when things are easy, but especially when life kicks you right in the nuts. So, let's break it down. First, let's talk about self-awareness. Oh boy, this is where most people screw up right from the start. Self-awareness is about knowing yourself, but not in that fluffy, I'm unique and special way that your mom used to tell you when you were a kid. This is about having the guts to admit your flaws, your insecurities, and your screw-ups. Can you actually sit down, look in the mirror, and be like, yeah, I was a complete idiot yesterday, and here's why? Most of us can't. We're too busy pretending we've got everything under control, even when our lives are on fire. You know why self-awareness is hard? Because it's fucking uncomfortable. No one wants to admit that they're jealous, insecure, or that they lose their temper over the dumbest things. But here's the brutal truth. If you don't start getting real with yourself, you're never going to grow. Ever met someone who's always pointing fingers at others, always complaining about how unfair life is, or why they're always the victim? That's a person with zero self-awareness. And if you're that person, sorry to say, you're kind of a drag to be around. Next up is self-regulation. This is the part where you learn how not to act like an absolute maniac. It's about keeping your shit together when everything around you is going wrong. It's like having an inner thermostat that keeps you from blowing up when someone cuts you off in traffic or from getting into a Facebook argument with that random guy who doesn't share your political views. Now, regulating your emotions doesn't mean you become some kind of emotionless robot. Hell no. It means you feel your feelings, but you don't let them control you. You don't punch the wall just because you're angry or scream at your partner because you had a bad day at work. It's about choosing how to respond, not just reacting like a freaking caveman. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, I'm cool. I don't have a temper. I'm pretty chill. But let me tell you, self-regulation isn't just about anger. It's about every damn emotion you have. It's about not getting so high on your happiness that you become reckless or so low in your sadness that you become a victim to your own life. It's about balance, people. And if you don't have the discipline to regulate your own emotions, don't expect anyone else to want to deal with your shit either. Now, let's talk about motivation. Not the fluffy kind of motivation that you get after watching a TED Talk, but the kind that makes you get up every day and do the hard work even when you don't feel like it. Emotional intelligence requires discipline, and guess what? Most of us don't have it. We live in a society that glorifies quick fixes, instant gratification, and comfort over growth. But if you're not willing to push yourself to stay motivated even when it sucks, you'll never truly develop emotional intelligence. You'll stay stuck in your little comfort zone, never challenging yourself to be better. And let me tell you, comfort zones are just prisons in disguise. And then there's empathy. Ah, empathy, the buzzword that everyone loves to throw around, but few people actually practice. Empathy is about actually giving a damn about other people's feelings. It's not just about saying I feel your pain and then moving on with your day. It's about actually listening, understanding, and being willing to step into someone else's shoes, even when it's inconvenient for you. 
You know what's the most annoying thing? People who pretend to be empathetic just to feel good about themselves. They're like, oh, I totally understand what you're going through, but then they don't do a damn thing to help or support you. They just use your pain as an opportunity to show off how caring they are. Screw that. Real empathy is about action, not just words. Last but not least, let's talk about social skills. No, I'm not talking about being the life of the party or the one with the best Instagram selfies. Social skills are about knowing how to navigate through human relationships without burning bridges every five seconds. It's about being able to communicate effectively, resolve conflicts without turning them into World War III, and actually build meaningful connections with people. You know why some people are so damn successful in life? Because they know how to deal with other people's shit without losing their own minds. They can handle a tough conversation without flipping the table over, and they know how to build trust, not just demand it. Now, here's the cold, hard truth. Most of you listening right now probably aren't as emotionally intelligent as you think you are. You might think you've got it all together, but if you're still blaming everyone else for your problems, if you're still throwing a tantrum every time life doesn't go your way, or if you're still playing the victim card, then guess what? You've got some work to do. And that's okay. We all do. But you've got to be willing to get your hands dirty and actually do the work. Improving your emotional intelligence isn't a one-and-done deal. It's a lifelong process, and it's going to be uncomfortable, messy, and downright painful at times. But if you're not willing to go through that discomfort, you're never going to grow. You're never going to become the person you're capable of being. So stop making excuses, stop blaming everyone else, and start taking some damn responsibility for your own emotional state. And for those of you who are sitting there thinking, this isn't for me. I'm already perfect. Well, you're probably the one who needs this the most. Because the moment you think you've got it all figured out is the moment you stop growing. So, get off your high horse and start doing the work, or keep living in your little bubble of self-delusion. It's your choice. All right, that's it for today's episode of Deep Links. If you liked what you heard, and you're not too offended, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. And if you didn't like it, well, maybe you need to work on that emotional intelligence a little more. Until next time, keep digging deep and keep growing.